Hello, Beacon Heights students. I'm Mrs. Dale, and this is lesson number 27. Dmitry Kabalevsky is particularly well known as a composer of children's music. He wrote a lot of piano music, many of which are short pieces for children learning to play the piano. Perhaps some of you have already played some of his music. I want to tell you about him in this lesson. Dmitry Kabalevsky was born in St. Petersburg, Russia on December 17, 1904. At a young age, his family moved to Moscow. His father was a mathematician and encouraged young Dmitri to study math, but he showed a fascination for the arts from a young age. Dmitri Kabalevsky started playing the piano by ear at age six, but didn't begin formal lessons until he was 14 years of age. Kabalevsky studied general subjects at the Skuryavin Institute until 1922. During the next three years, he continued teaching piano at the Institute and played for silent movies. Because there weren't many good teaching pieces in Russia in the 1920s, Kabalevsky began composing pieces for his students. He believed that these pieces should be of superior quality, teaching not only basic techniques and skills, but also developing the students' artistic taste and their creative imagination. He said that music for students should nurture their love of life, human beings, nature, and their country, and their music should awaken their interest and feeling of friendship towards the people of other countries. Kabalevsky felt that composers who wrote teaching music for children should have an understanding and love for children. He encouraged other composers to transmit to children through music a part of not only their talent, art, and experience, but also their hearts. We are fortunate to have Miss Annette with us today to play four short children's songs by Kabalevsky for us today. The first one she will play for us is entitled The Clown. This piece is a bouncy, humorous piece alternating between major and minor. The second piece you will hear today is Waltz from 24 Little Pieces. Now remember, a waltz is a dance piece in three, four time and Kabalevsky's waltz is slow and peaceful. The third piece and Miss Annette will play for us today is called A Little Joke. Listen for the rapid five finger patterns in both hands throughout this short piece. And the fourth piece Annette will play for us today is Takatina, and the word Takata actually means to touch. In this piece, it will be very fast moving. The left hand has a smooth melody while the right hand is bouncy and staccato throughout. Let's take a listen to these four pieces now.
Dmitry Kavalevsky studied piano and composition at the Moscow Conservatory from 1925 until 1930. He was such a brilliant student that upon graduation, he was invited to become professor of composition. Kabalevsky was successful as a Soviet composer, but gradually became involved in the political life of the Soviet Union. He was influential as a teacher, administrator, and writer. In the 1940s, Kabalevsky was editor of the music magazine, Sovetskaya Musica. He often spoke to groups of workers and appeared in television shows where he presented his views on musical policy in three languages, Russian, French, and English. As a member of the Soviet Committee for the Defense of Peace, he traveled abroad to promote friendship between the Soviet Union and foreign countries. Despite all he accomplished, Kabalevsky was the happiest when he was composing for young people. Dmitry Kabalevsky composed operas, ballet, film music, symphonies, concertos, songs, and he also loved to write Russian folk music. Let's take a listen to Miss Annette playing variations on a Russian folk song. The theme is stated at the beginning, followed by five variations. A five variation, a variation is when you treat the theme a little bit differently. Let's take a listen. Kowalewski wrote three concertos, one for the violin, one for the cello, and one for the piano. His piano concerto, number three in D major, is subtitled his youth concerto, and it was written for and dedicated to young performers within the Soviet Union in 1952. It is sometimes performed as a student's first piano concerto. Ms. Annette recalls playing this concerto while in the sixth grade. Let's take a listen to a portion of this delightfully sunny, joyful piece. <laughs>
One can see why Dmitry Kabalevsky is easily considered as an important composer of the contemporary period. Kabalevsky died on February 14, 1987. He was 82 years old. Thank you so much for joining me for music today and happy spring.